We are moving into game number two. It's going to be Team Slayer on the rig. The bigger question is what's left in the Renegade's tank? Can they keep up to the full power of Optic Gaming? Or will Optic now just open up the floodgates and just go ham? Frosty's already got a double kill in the kill feed. But Neptune's answering back because he's got sniper rifle control. Frosty's POV, scatter shot in hand protecting this long haul area and he's going to be catching people where they're spawning and talking to his teammates saying okay we know where they're going to be moving from now two members will be watching the stairs the bodyguard system will come into effect neptune trying to look to get an angle but he's got to be careful because you can quite easily get locked back into the bunker spots one on seawall goes for the second shot that could have been a very crucial kill and that could be the end of his life optics say all right well you take a shot at us you haven't killed us but we at least know where you are you are dead I'll take your sniper rifle, thank you very much. Four bullets remaining. And I tell you what, if there's a man who can, it's snake bite. He can find faces. Yeah, and that is a heartbreaking way to die in the beginning of this game. Being down four to one, but getting the sniper rifle, you still have room to bring that back. And then missing that first shot or not being able to even pull the trigger to try to weaken that guy. Have him finish off your teammate, get collapsed on by the other two members of Optic, and what was potentially a tied up game with power weapon control, with maybe like a four to five situation or almost tied up has turned into an eight to one and an amazing start once again here for optic oh god this is this is brutal man nine to one nine to two and the bullets are just going to keep coming through the bodies are going to keep dropping across the board you got potential many people actually coosing here because two kills is absolutely nothing but this is this is what optic gaming do they capitalize on any advantage it's a very strong game type for him you can see at the moment I mean, how, how do you get out of this? How, how do you stop them? They have full map control. Oh, this is this is very, very difficult here. And you can see Snakebite puts tons of damage down, takes two players, no shields. One of them gets cleaned up. He'll clean up his own kill there on the APG with the perfect shots here. 15 to four. Now, this is, uh, if you remember pool play, the Renegades found themselves in a situation like this before, so by no means out of it quite yet. But Rig, that is going to be a difficult map to have these kind of comebacks on. Luckily for them, they got that kill onto the camo player, so they'll take one of the danger danger points away from Optic. But Frosty's found himself that scatter shot again. We still have only six kills on the board, so a three to one kill count every single time here. This is quickly getting out of hand. There's no, there's no response to this. There's absolutely zero response here coming out of Renegades. They just can't seem to control what Optic Gaming are doing to them. They have full map control. They have weapon control. They have the power-ups on time. Ten seconds to At the moment, it just feels like Optic are completely flooding them. It, th I, I, I think at some point, we do definitely need to get some sort of listening here with Renegades because the communication, it can't be on point, Kyle. When you're just letting Optic just flood from behind you and just constantly get taken down in two versus ones over and over again, there must be just a mis mismatch in communication. I mean, 24 to 7. This is a this is a beating. Yeah, this is not the way Renegades wanted to answer back off that after that first game. They got two players trapped over there. Neptune will pick up one kill, but I believe that sniper rifle did get pushed across and it found its way back into Frosty's hands again. So yeah, by no means out of it as Optic Gaming hits that halfway point. But being able to come back from a deficit like this is no easy task. Well, we are going to stick with Frosty until he dies and gets rid of the sniper rifle. We do have the Renegades listening teed up in the back. But as we mentioned, we'll stick with him because when your man's got this weapon, he's just ready to rock and roll. He's finding faces. You guys at home want to see it. So we don't want to cut from this POV just yet until he drops dead. Another player steps up to the box. Lunchbox says, hello, I'll take a shot at you. But Frosty says, well, if you want to jump up, that's not a problem, fam. I've got a bullet here with your name imprinted on it. Is this a survivability, Kyle? Like, how long are Optic just staying alive individually? They're just, they're being allowed to roam free. They're giving a lot of respect over Renegade, so they're not taking any deaths lightly here. After that game won, which obviously had a replay involved in it as well, they want to make sure they close these out and do not allow Renegades an opportunity like they did in Plaza to bring it and making make it close. Lethal in the kill feed. You can see two kills. Frosty's fancy in this one. Gonna go slowly on his hands and knees, looking for more. Up close and personal with the scatter shot. Both power weapons in his hand. 
Yeah, and Frosty just playing out of his mind. He had both power weapons. He is out of snipe ammo. No one from, obviously, it's hard to be doing well when you're losing 34 to 9. Nobody doing particularly well. Ace still yet to grab a kill. And Frosty sitting at 13 and 1 already here in this game. So we're on board with Goosewatch right now. Ace still looking to get a kill, but seem as we are on board with Renegades, let's send it to a listening and hear how the communication's going right now. Top snipes, three top snipes, top snipes. I got one, no one's here, side spawn. Two top snipes, top corner, rail, top 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 I'm looking no, bottom rail. Bottom rail, which side? Snake weak, E2. Bottom nice. rail. Which side, E2? Two bottom, bottom rail, there's two bottom rail. Two bottom rail, what's the shot? Still bottom rail. Sniper, guys, sniper. Yo, top, top rail. rail, top rail. Top rail. Top rail. Yeah. We can be our base, absolutely. Yeah, no, I got one. Same stuff, base. Top bingo. Camo in 20. Camo in 20. Camo in 20. Top rail as well. Shot top rail. Shot top rail. Camo's at 42. There's top rail. He's still top rail. He's still up there. 42. We're in the middle. I'm looking right now. Pushing barrels. Pushing barrels. He already ran, he's cuts. 42 camo. Connector on us. Can anybody look at camo? I'm looking at connector. 42, camo is up. Connector. He's two with it, he's two with the guy. Right here. He's my hole with it. Right in front of you. He's got to scatter too. There. In a white corner. Fuck dude, he's one shot E1. Now he's sniping. Underpass now, underpass. They have camo somewhere. Camo snipe somewhere. Well, I think this is going to be nailing the coffee job, to be honest with you, because... I mean, yeah, you just saw what happened with this, with that sniper rifle. Not a single kill with it. Still only bread sticking right now, 1 in 13. Not the best statistic that you want in a Team Slayer matchup. But meanwhile, Optic, they're still just wandering around, doing whatever they want. This scatter shot, sniper rifle, camo, they have control of absolutely everything. What does that say to you, Kyle, about a team? Is that communication or is that your coach not doing his job in the back? No, I mean, that that's just overall. When, it, when a game is like this, when you have a blowout this bad, it comes down to all four members of Optic Gaming. You're not gonna have one player just take over a game and create a 35 kill deficit victory here. This is all four members of Optic Gaming coming back to the Optic Gaming form that we've seen in the past here. And like I said, kind of struggling yesterday. They were, weren't having large enough margins of victory. The Optic Gaming that I know comes into every series, no matter who they're playing against, and they try their hardest. It did not look like what we were seeing out of them yesterday. And even though maybe they were trying their hardest against Envy, it was because they were just a little bit off and not doing their usual regiment into these games that it affected them. And they ended up getting 3 0'd. But now what we're seeing is the Optic Gaming that doesn't take any kill lightly, doesn't give up any free deaths. And then you have a 15 to 5 victory. So, you know, Lunchbox, seven kills, three assists. You know, by far doing the best here for Renegades, but that was just a steamroll across the board. 16 and 3, top of the board. Frosty waking up, but 1 and 15, you can't be doing that.